I just really love the two of them. I, I don't know what it is. I mean, I mean, we never met in person, but... I took a, a day, two days to do this video because of how I was feeling when I did find out about the situation. And um, it still affected me that way. I mean, okay. another episode of chocolate and chit chat today on chit chat i just want it will be very very quick video because yeah i just wanted to come and give my condolences to two individuals in the youtube community and two channels who have truly truly supported me it could be a one minute video these two individuals would watch they would comment they would give advice i have been watching them since <sighs> forever since you know they own that kind of thing so firstly i want to send my condolences to now all things now on youtube she lost her dad back in september and if you know her and you know what she goes through, you know how hard this is for her, you know, losing her dad. Because, I mean, she and her dad are really, really close. So, this has really, really, really set her back emotionally. And um, sometimes we would see people taking a break from youtube and we don't really know the real cause of why they're not doing uh, their regular uploads and that kind of thing and not knowing what's going on behind the scenes and i reached out to her after the fact because i didn't know and um I didn't hear anything because I had something to send for her and because of all this virus situation I reached out to explain to her why I haven't sent what I had to send for her still wasn't getting no response and then I saw her put a post about her dad I was in shock and then I reached out to her again and I sent her a few private messages and we talk and that kind of thing so I just want again to reach out to her and extend my deepest condolences to her and her family and you know that we in the youtube community the true supporters will forever have your back and and be there for you when you just want to stare into the camera and say nothing know that we're there what watching nothing with you so don't give up i know depression sucks don't give up we're here with you your family is here with you trust in god and know that your dad is looking down on you around you and with you all right and you also who lost your dad due to this terrible illness let us both now reach out to which i know you have already 
publicly via social media because I have seen your comments and posts and again and again. So together, as I know you're watching, let's reach out to Edna and send our deepest condolences to her. <clears throat> when I tell you this was a shock. When I tell you this was a shock. So, she had the full journey of when he first got diagnosed and um, he went through all, she, she, she vlogged that entire journey and we all was there with them and seeing how well he was doing and <clears throat> and seeing how well he was doing and stuff i just really love the two of them i i don't know what it is i mean we, we never met in person but I took a, a day, two days to do this video because of how I was feeling when I did find out about the situation and um, it still affected me that way. I mean, okay, I have been watching them from the earliest. Um, I don't know if you could remember when she was with her daughter and the, her son, the son that she has now. I don't know how much of you was around since that time when she was vlogging about that. And, and that is when I started to watch her in the earlys with her grandson when he was much smaller and I mean he's five years now so you know I've been watching him for quite a while and he was a, a baby he was really young We made it. We are here waiting for our baggage. Now we gotta go find a taxi and find our hotel. Dallas. Oh, see, I made it. I made it. He watching everything. I started to watch the videos and when he when her husband come and found out that he had cancer. We all, her supporters, went through this whole process with him. They think it's cancer. Um, sorry. So, there was a mass. Now, up until today, they were saying there was a, a spot or Matt, like a spot on his pancreas, and or they were seeing a legion or possibly a cyst, and that's why they were going to check and make sure that everything was okay. They go in there today and they did a biopsy, took some from the mass, and he pretty much said, You have cancer. Now, of course, they have to say. They sent it for testing, and we should know. Today's Tuesday. We should know something, maybe tomorrow or the next day. Um, so, you know, of course, they're like, it, it could not be. And I'm like, 
So if it's not, what else could it be? And he was like, I can't even remember what he said, but whatever he said, he was like, but I'm pretty sure it's some a form of cancer. They don't know like what. Um, complete shock took us by complete shock it's just something you don't want to hear <laughs> like you just don't want like that's the worst word in the english language you know you, you you build a love for these people because you feel so close to them because they share everything on this really rough journey and i don't think it's not just because or just people who have someone who lost someone to cancer also myself you know <laughs> cancer in my family and stuff so it's just the human part of it all you know you you, you go to love these two people you, you you know them it's like you're part of them you know and that is how I felt with these two and I, ju I just love their channel I just love who they were as a couple I love how she supported her husband I love she just left her whole career to be a uh, that wife to stay home and look after her husband. I, I just love her. I love her channel. I am not just a subscriber. I'm not just a count on, on, on her subscriber list and on, on her subscription list. I really do love them as a couple, as a family. I do enjoy watching their content everything about them i mean i won a few <laughs> up of october giveaway and stuff i'm not bragging but you know i just saying that uh. <laughs> but um yeah it's all seriously speaking though um i think i wasn't nobody wasn't expecting this you know he was so ill when he was in the hospital okay I was really praying about that situation. Hey guys, do not adjust your screen. You're not having deja vu. We are back in the hospital. And when she said he was out of the hospital, I was like, thank you, Jesus. I'm just sitting here waiting on the call from the hospital that I can go pick up my man. I think he gets to come home. He just waiting. I'm waiting. I'm so excited. So it's like, what time is it? five o'clock so we're getting close hopefully it said within like an hour so i'm hoping it'll be really soon i'm so i'm like i'm so happy i'm trying not to get too excited just in case they try to change their mind because you know they'd be doing that oh well we thought we could so i'm trying to keep it together until i can actually see him get out of there <laughs> and the crazy thing is i just sent him some balloons and then i was worried because they said earlier he might come home and I was like, if these balloons don't come before he leave, I'll be so mad. <laughs> I'm sitting up here at the hospital. I'm out here waiting for Mr. I'm so happy he gets to come home. <clears throat> I'm so excited. He said he got a lot of paperwork. <laughs> so I'm sure I'll be doing a lot of reading tonight and seeing what's going on. I was talking to Kisha and Jennifer. I said, I feel like a like a crackhead waiting for the dealer to come down the street. I'm like, is that him? Is that him? <laughs> they're going, now they're going to take forever to bring him down the steps. I think I saw him coming. Oh, yeah. I see all the balloons that I got for him. Yay! He's coming! And like so many of her people on her subscription, when they saw that announcement live, and you know, the last thing you're thinking is what it is, what happened, you know, and you join, and I'm trying, it just wasn't loading for some reason, it wouldn't play, but I would read, be able to read the comments, I don't know if the live was sticking or whatever, I wasn't, be able, wasn't able to really get on to watch it. And um, hmm. I just keep reading the comments. I was like, something wrong here. So I went over to her other social media platforms and I started to look it up and see what is going on. And then I see it's true. And you know, when 
you get a news that you're just not expecting because you know you're seeing look things getting a little better slowly but surely things is getting where it's supposed to go and you're hit with something just out of the blue like that i am telling you i was literally like this this is how i was i was like what this isn't happening this isn't real i was literally shaken and just confused so this really really hit me by shock and i was like really 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 feeling it for her i was just like oh my god i could rem i could just imagine what she is going through right now you know but we all have to be there for her we all have to let her know that our shoulders are here even though we are miles and miles and oceans away from her she could get a, a virtual shoulder rest and let her rest on our shoulders or reach our arms out to her virtually and give her a big hug not just for the next few days but for always let her always know that you're thinking of her let the kids and the grandbabies know that you're thinking about them reach out to her we all know how close they were i enjoyed watching all their cruise uh, um, videos all their little other vacation videos when the cruise wasn't available i just i really really feel this this i felt as though somebody called me and tell me girl your brother just died that is how i felt you know like it was just hmm so edna sending you trillions of virtual hugs and kisses and just like myself many of us who are miles and miles away are not there to come to you and embrace you know that we are here for you we are just a call away a text away so you can reach out to any one of us and now also the same you are also only a virtual hug and kiss away a text away don't be afraid to reach out to us your subscribers and talk to us if you need to if you just as i said if you just need to just look into the camera and say nothing we would be there with you and look into the camera and say nothing and just nod our head yes i understand so i love you guys praying for you guys wishing you all the best and healing and don't let anyone tell you how long you should grieve for as long as you're grieving and grieving healthy we support your grieving process because this is someone that you all love and admired and appreciated and we understand that this person is no longer there with you all physically but as you all know they are both there with you all spiritually so trust in god don't give up and keep reaching out to people that you know would be there for you to give you a hug just to reach out and just listen. They don't have to say a word. And trust and believe the day would come where you wouldn't wake up and feel this way. But still knowing that his presence would be with you always. And appreciating all those wonderful memories that you all had. With those wonderful gentlemen in your lives. I love you all the way from the beautiful Caribbean island and wishing you a wonderful and peaceful day. Thank you all for being the wonderful, wonderful content creators that you are and souls that you are. Thank you for your friendships. Thank you for your wonderful con conversations with me and for the way that you will always motivate me and help me to improve the content that I am also trying to put out. Thank you for being you and know because of who you are, 
you would be truly and forever be blessed by your subscribers who truly appreciate you as a human being and would always be there to support you to support you all every single day stay strong god bless we love you all edna and nell bye